Curator Henry Duffy, on making art as a curator. Cartoons of two men in chalk. Two seated park rangers. So I know when you uh, retire, you, you're going to uh, pursue more of your uh, interest in painting. And I'm, I'm curious, Henry, why a sculpture curator is focusing on painting and not sculpture. Have you tried your hand at sculpture during your time here at uh, St. Gaudens? I have. Yeah. And uh, I would say mixed results. I would say um, I have um, a lot to learn in that area. Um, I actually had taken some sculpture in art school. Um, so I had some awareness of the tools and techniques. But since um, my time here, I have tried some, some attempts at it. Um, I think every art curator should try to do some kind of art because you don't fully understand it until you do. It's one thing to read about it in books. It's another thing to actually be sitting with a lump of clay in front of you and think, I have to make that look like something. And, you know, most of us, when we first start, it looks like a lump of clay. It doesn't look like much. And so um, trying to make it do something, try to make it look, you know, and I think the first thing I tried, I thought, well, I'll do something simple. I tried to make a dog, and it didn't look like a dog. I don't know what it was. Um, if it was an animal, it was some space animal. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't a dog. But, um, but again, I don't think it necessarily matters whether I'm good at it or not. Just the fact that I tried makes it um, more understandable of, how, of what, the, what, the, what the experts <laughs> accomplish. Um, and I've also learned a great deal from the sculptors in residence here, um, which is one of the, I think, one of the finest programs at this park. And I've known a lot of them through the years. And I've learned something from all of them. Um, it's, it's wonderful to be able to go down and watch someone doing it and to see how they make um, that lump of clay look like a dog, I mean, you know, look like something. Um, and what I, realize, and, and, and I learned this in school, but until you try it, you don't know how really difficult it is to do a relief. You think doing something on a flat surface would be somehow easier than doing it in the round, and it's actually entirely the opposite. It's much easier to do something round than it is to do something flat, because when it's flat, you're trying to give the impression of three dimensions without actually having that in front of you. Much more complicated. Um, now, in my painting, I've tried the equivalent of that as well. In painting, what you do is trying to paint something without color, to paint something all white or all gray, Again, very difficult, really hard, um, because you realize in painting that the color is what carries the sense of three dimensions in it. So if you don't have the color, you have to do it in drawing and, um, and in shadow, and that's much more difficult. So um, I've learned quite a bit, um, and I think that that, um, I hope, is something that I can put into um, my writing um, about and talking about sculpture to be able to have a better understanding of, of what it does. Um, painting is just the thing that I've always done. I've just always done it. Um, my parents tell me that I did it from toddler. Um, um, they say that I would draw with my crayons on the wall and then put a little H. Um, I have a brother, and when they would question me on that, 
I would say that he did it. And then they would say, well, why is there an H? And I wouldn't have thought of that. So then I would say, he put it there. And they would say, no, I don't think so. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I had this sense of, of um, um, painting and signing things right from the beginning. I can say that I also had the sense of being a museum person. Um, they tell me that when I was about eight years old, I walked around the neighborhood and knocked on neighbors' doors and collected objects from people and brought them back and set up an exhibit in the basement and put little labels. And at that time, I wasn't writing much, but I had been to museums, so I put, put little... Uh, nobody came, um, but um, I don't even think my family went down to look at it. But, but anyway, but, you know, I think I was, you know, somehow beginning my course as, as a curator. <laughs> Arrowhead Emblem of the National Park Service, St. Gaudens National Historical Park, your national park for the arts. Cartoons of two men in chalk.